Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name is Ken. Today's experiment is tornado in a jar. As always, adult supervision is required. What you need for this experiment is a water, a jar, dish soap, or hand sanitizer. Here are the way the uh, tornadoes are ranked in EF0 to EF5. California, where I'm at, is EF0. Okay, the setup for this experiment is very easy and it takes no time at all. You take your jar and you're going to pour regular water into it until it gets to the, about the neck of the jar. There's no exact science to this part of it, uh, about right here. And then once you get that, you can use regular dish soap or hand sanitizer. I like to use hand sanitizer. I will show you both ways, just a small little squirt. Hand sanitizer has, it's less murky and you can see the tornado a lot easier. Once you have that in there, put the lid on and start to make circles and you have a tornado in a jar. Respin it again and the tornado's there. Pretty cool, easy to do, and I'm going to show you a couple different other ways to do it. So I have my hand sanitizer still. This time I'm going to add a little bit of glitter in. It could be any color. I have silver. Uh, the amount of the glitter you want to put in is your own preference. A little bit is fine. Spin it around, and now you start to see the glitter, which is the debris coming around the outside of the tornado, which makes it pretty cool. Um, it's uh, spin it up around again. Uh, the debris sometimes causes a lots of damage. Pretty cool stuff. And the last method is you can make it with dish soap. So I have my water in there, no sanitizer. Now I just put a little bit of soap in. You do not want to put a lot in. It's going to get very murky. So once you get that, spin it around. Uh, this will have a little bit more of the tornado is a little bit more darker or, or cloudy. So you really see the tornado better this way. But the more you shake it, the more bubbles it gets. And sometimes if you have too much soap in, it will cloud up the water. As you can see, it's starting to cloud up, but it does have a better visual, uh, I believe, with the soap. If you put too much soap in there, you're going to have to start over. And then you do see at the end, there is some soap bubbles on the top. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click big thumbs up and to subscribe. Thanks for watching.